He told me he loved me. He said we'd always be together, no matter what. I told her I love her. I don't really love her. I told her I would always be there for her. She, she believed, believed me. me. I got my test results back from the clinic. I can't believe this is happening to me. My life is not supposed to turn out this way. I mean, you know, you come home. Hey, Mom, got something to tell ya. My friends are doing it. Safe sex. Safe sex. Safe sex. Safe sex. What a, what a lie. lie. Can't believe this is happening to me. My brother even gave me the condom. You know, I had never heard of the failure rates of condoms until I met her at the clinic yesterday. All my dreams were snuffed out in a single evening. I thought, oh, what's the big deal? It's just this once. This is not fair. This was not supposed to happen to me. Coach said I had potential for a full ride scholarship to any of the colleges of my dream. But I had an even bigger dream. A dream that one day I would have a son that I could throw the ball around with. Now that dream is dead. It was, it was supposed, supposed to be safe, safe but, but now, now we, we have AIDS. And, and we're dying. Reality check actually started, I'm trying to estimate now, uh, about 14, 15 years ago. So it's been a while. And uh, it's been part of Alternate Avenues Women's Resource Center. I've been at Reality Check for about two years now. I have been a part of Reality Check. This is now going to be my 10th year. I've been with Reality Check for about two months now. I've been in Reality Check for four and a half years. I've been in Reality Check for a year now. I've been in Reality Check for all oh, about four years now. Well, and I've been with Reality Check for years. And I've been in Reality Check for about three years. And I've been in Reality Check for one year. As a parent, I, I think this ministry is really important because it empowers young people with the facts about engaging in sex outside of marriage. By educating them in the truth about this kind of reckless lifestyle, it helps them to make healthier choices about their relationships. The amazing thing is it is a group of teen leaders and young adults that do the presentation and it's very very powerful. The presenters are teenagers. You know, they are normal kids that have chosen to remain abstinent and sexually pure until marriage. And so when they talk to these kids, you know, the kids are not seeing an adult telling them what to do. They're seeing other students, other kids saying, you know, this is what I've chosen. What reality check does, it's very dynamic because as I've said, it's the my members of, which are mostly teenagers and young adults. And we do it in a very interesting, uh, interesting and entertaining way. We do a lot of skits, a lot of uh, uh, testimonials and audience participation while we're doing those skits. Um, is because kids don't really want to hear it from their parents, from people our age. Um, I think they're much more receptive and willing to hear it from their peers and um, you know I've, I've seen the presentations. We've had three classes in one room um, watching the presentation and and you know the presenters know how to keep everything in check so they're, they're very good they're excellent. And since you've been with Reality Check for 10 years I have to know what actually attracted you to Reality Check. Well um, when I first became a part of Reality Check, it, I sort of got dropped into it because it was something that my brother and my sister were, were going to and they dragged me along to one of the meetings. Um, but what attracted me to the ministry was just the fact that the group was so open about talking about sexuality with other teens and just how honest they were. Well, I think it was the skit about the rose. Um, I think it was really cool how... Um, some people just give their selves away 